Previously on the Barn Dominium build-out, we are moving upstairs still, securing our plumbing. Gong show, baby. <laughs> Finishing up some electric and moving on to the walls, installing some shiplap. All in the hopes of preparing for winter and moving inside of the pole barn out of our little camper that sits outside all before it starts to snow and gets cold. But before we get into this week's video, a, here's a quick introduction in case you're new around here. Hi there, we're Matt and Stacy. We recently bought an off-grid property in beautiful West Virginia. We've been busy making this property our own little slice of paradise, adding in a few modern conveniences having fun learning all of the construction trades, and converting a pole barn into our future home. This channel is about my passion for painting with a torch and wax, and about our passion for adventure and taking risks. Consider subscribing and join this creative community. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video. All right, picking back up where we left off with this shiplap, and Matt is working on filling some of the um, more obvious holes in the shiplap because it's not completely perfect. And then we're gonna get to finishing the shiplap. So this will at least fill it in a little bit. Right or wrong, I don't know. I think you can see, but there's a obvious like height difference between this board and this board um, for some reason some of the boards were slightly off in the shiplap so just trying to make it look a little bit cleaner don't want it perfect but just a little bit cleaner would be good and i guess i should say welcome to another barn dominium video all right, that wood fill is now dry. We did kind of smooth down and sand a little bit some of those areas, but it's now dry and the shiplap is ready to be finished. And this time we decided to paint the shiplap versus leaving it the natural wood color like we did downstairs, just to make a little bit more neutral color walls. But before we paint them, we are going to be priming them with a white primer hope in the hopes that the paint won't absorb as much into the shiplap and will maybe save a little bit of money on paint. <laughs> Right, one wall is primed and we have um, this wall over here to go and then we have the stair wall and this half wall back here. We didn't put shiplap on here because not 100% sure what we're going to put on there yet so we're waiting on that but um it's getting there. All right, these walls are now dry the primer is now dry on them so we are going to add a coat of paint let me show you the color the paint color is called drift of mist and it's the same as all of our other walls it's kind of a grayish color which ironically looks really similar to the primed wall here but um 
this is actually technically more of a white, but I think because it's on the um, pine wood, it looks a little bit grayish. So anyways, I'm gonna get to painting these walls and um, maybe I'll just put you on time-lapse again because it's not super exciting. Turns out it is quite different from <laughs> the white. All right, now I'm gonna stick you on time-lapse. If you can tell but there's like one more roller full of paint this color paint left and let me show you we have one spot left to do so um, we don't normally like to be this close with paint but boy we calculated pretty accurately there was no calculation <laughs> we guessed pretty accurately yeah, that's better. <laughs> but I don't know, can you see that spot right there? That's all we have left. Last little bit. These walls really do look good. We're really happy with the color. And uh, we were debating about leaving them white, but I'm really happy with the gray. And I think once we get trim down there, which will be the next step, it'll look really nice too. The white trim. One final roll. I'll let it be known for the record that Stacy's giving me the glory shot of finishing up here. She's the one that actually painted it all. I just get to do this little section. <laughs> Take credit. <laughs> Painting all day. <laughs> nice. I do believe we made it work. We're back to storage today. Hoping to empty a few more things out. Yay! Aren't you excited, Matt? I don't think he's awake yet. One more load. And um, Matt just said, cue the hillbilly music. Yeah. Interesting setup we've got here. And here is the state of the barn dominium. Now we just have to move all of this stuff upstairs to the bedroom area. All right, I just wanted to show you, we got these massive pieces upstairs from down below and we have our nightstand up here, one of them. So yeah, we were able to get them up here and we'll probably going to be going to get another load tomorrow, hopefully. See you then. Welcome home. It's getting empty, guys. It's getting emptier. Making progress. <laughs> Load it down again. We have a couple big pieces left that we might still come back and get tonight. That dresser and the grandfather clock and of course the barn doors those probably aren't going to come with us tonight but we'll see if we have time for the wait until you see what's going to happen with the barn doors Shh. and here's what this load looks like we brought the trailer this time around cue the beverly hillbillies <laughs> Just a few miscellaneous things left. And this area will be cleared out. 
the bed frame there, the footboard and the headboard, we're actually trying to um, get rid of. It's beautiful and we love it, but we're downsizing to a queen. So we're trying to find a uh, buyer for that here locally. Wish us luck on that. Well, we made it back from storage with everything. And uh, this is the state of the barn. Boxes and furniture stacked up everywhere. Ah. All right, now some of you may be wondering if it's just Matt and I moving all this furniture upstairs because they look like pretty large pieces. And, you know, we're going up those stairs. And the answer is yes, it is just the two of us. And I think we're going to try to demonstrate on our very large dresser back there. <laughs> and of course, we've picked the heaviest piece to show you. So um, if this doesn't work out, I don't know. But at any rate, we basically wrap the pieces in a moving blanket that's somewhat slippery. Matt stands at the bottom of the stairs, pushing. I stand kind of in the middle of the stairs, pulling and lifting slightly. And that's how we got all the other pieces up there. So I'm gonna try to set the camera up at a decent angle, probably on time-lapse, I think, and uh, show you how we do this. All right, well, we decided <laughs> that that piece was too heavy for Matt. He basically has to dead lift it once he's on the stairs. And that is a very solid, heavy piece of cherry wood. So um, we're trying to come up with plan B. In the meantime, I think we're gonna probably rearrange a few other pieces of furniture that are over yonder. Plan B involved getting our neighbor's help. And once again, we are incredibly grateful for this wonderful community. They took their time out of their weekend to come help us move some furniture in and also grateful that we have a large barn door to fit the tractor in. Thank you again so much, Jimmy and Dale. All right, now that we've cleared out some more space downstairs, I can start painting the baseboard trim that's going upstairs in the bedroom area. And then once it's dry, we are going to be installing it. Now that we have everything moved up here, we have to move it again because it's up against the wall, just enough where we can't get the baseboard back in there. I think we're only gonna have to move one of the pieces and we knew we were going to have to do this anyways, but it is what it is. And it's almost as if we planned this catwalk just to the perfect size of our bed frame rails. So now that that's moved out of the way, we can get the baseboard installed back behind here. And it's just enough of a tight little space, but Mac can just get in there now and nail the baseboard up. Good morning. Welcome to our furniture filled bedroom. Today's plan is I'm going to fill the trim with the little nail holes of the trim and Matt's going to work on electrical. And then I think maybe we'll be able to rearrange some furniture up here, perhaps. Plug, guys. Yay! Matt's super excited. 
Not looking super excited. It's sad. I should have added more power. Do you want to add more? Take out the spray foam. Just, you know, rip, rip some walls down. We need more things to do, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right after this plug, we'll do that, guys. Wow. I lied. There's one more plug. Happens to be way up high. <laughs> and I totally overlooked it. Totally missed it. But um, the idea perhaps is a wall mount fan up there, which is why that plug is way up high. So I think this is now the last plug. Please let it be the last one. And it's official. That was the last plug. The only thing left to do up here, well, aside from a few other things, but the last thing we want to do up here is rearrange this furniture. All right, all, you're going to have to use your imagination here. That's where the bed is going. And we're, we're missing, obviously, the headboard and the footboard. Well, we're not missing it. It's in Ohio. But um, this is kind of the general setup, I think, for the bedroom. Again, you're going to have to use your imagination. And, um, you know, lovely camo rug right there, too. So I'm hoping by the time I want to release this video, we will have gone back to Ohio to get our foot and headboard and mattress. Um, I think I mentioned when we were in storage, the foot and headboard that we have to go with this is a king size. And because we have a tinier space in this house, we are downsizing to a queen size, but that is being delivered back in Ohio. <laughs> So at any rate, I'm hoping by the time I'm wanting to release this video that we will have that here and set up to get an even better idea of the bedroom. Obviously back there, we still need window trim. Oh, and I don't know if you can see, but the mini split guys came and installed the heating and air conditioning up here. And right there, we have to kind of just patch that shiplap, but um, things are coming along up here. Slowly but surely, we are making progress. All right, all. We managed to get back to Ohio. Got our headboard and footboard there. And got the bedroom pretty much set up. Um, we still do need to do the window trim. And, oh, sorry about that light. All of a sudden it went dark. <laughs> it tends to do that. But um, I think the dresser's staying there. The extension cord will probably not stay right there. Um, and I think the chair is going to stay up here as well. At least for right now it's going to. We also managed to get all of our clothes, every piece of clothing that we own, in our dresser drawers, the nightstand drawers. And the bed actually has um, two big drawers for bedding and kind of bulkier items like sweatshirts and things like that so all of our clothes are in here as well um, which was really good we did go sort through them and i have a big donation pile set to go but um really happy that they all fit because we weren't exactly sure if they were going to the only things that aren't in here are our big bulky ski jackets and um you know there was just no place to put those in here but everything else fit perfectly some of you may also recognize this crochet bedspread from our other house. This was in our guest room, but we are now using it in here. It fits perfectly on the bed, really happy with how it looks. And then those two pillows were actually done using a painting that I painted a while back. So those fit quite nicely in here as well. And I also wanted to mention that my favorite thing with having the bed in here now is one, a good night's sleep is always nice and the bed's nice and comfy. Have a little bit more elbow room than we do in the um, double in the camper, so that's nice. But also, I still get to see the deer out of the window up here. So um, we have spent a couple nights sleeping up here 
and it's just been wonderful. It's really nice to have a quote unquote regular bed in a bedroom now. So at any rate, I think we're going to leave you here. Stay tuned for the next barn dominium video, probably coming in a couple weeks time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please show it to us by giving a thumbs up. It really, truly does help us out. If you're not subscribed, consider doing so. And yeah, thanks again so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.